Hey everybody. So my Daisy character got killed uh, the other night and after a brief period of mourning I have decided that this would probably be a good opportunity to do a little gameplay video with a fresh spawn to maybe help some people out who are having difficulty getting started in the game. So uh, with that in mind I'm gonna record, I don't know, maybe a half hour of me playing this initial character. Hopefully I'll live that long. And try to talk a little bit about what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And give you guys some kind of sense of what it's like to start out fresh in this game as of this latest patch, which is um, 1.7.2.3. So here I've started in Prig, uh, which those of you who are familiar with the map will note is the area in between Electro and Churn. This is actually a pretty decent initial spawn. So I'm just going to kind of run around here, get my bearings, see if there's any easy uh, looting to be had. If I'm where I think I am though, there's no enterable building here in this dock. like you can go into it, but you actually can't. Alright, so, um, again, depending on your familiarity with the game and the app, you'll have a much better idea of where to go when you first start out. I happen to know that if I head up this way and get back towards these mountains over here on the left, there's going to be uh, a little cluster that has like a warehouse and a farm and some other useful buildings. So I'm just gonna kind of beeline it for that, trying to give it a bit of a berth uh, to the right so that I can avoid any zombie ag. Because there are these buildings here that are kind of in between me and where I'm trying to get. I'm gonna try to bypass and get up actually on the hill without drawing any ag if possible. Now a lot of people complain about the fact that when you first start out in this game now you have nothing. You know, you have, as I'll a little straight, uh, your bandage, your painkillers, your backpack, and your flashlight. And that's about it. Now the one upshot to that, as far as I'm concerned, is that when you first come in as a new spawn, you've really got nothing to lose. So it really kind of frees you to run around like a spaz and just kind of see what you can get without uh, having to worry too much about dying, because if you do die, you're really not losing anything. So I'm just going to cruise up here around this hill. Um, I generally like to uh, head towards the high ground in a situation like this whenever possible. You just get a better vantage. There's less chance of someone sneaking up from behind on you. And uh, you know, these areas are generally not going to be populated with Zeds because they're far enough away from the buildings that uh, even if they spawn in, they're not going to be right up in your grill. So as we can see here is this cluster of buildings that I was talking about. you got this warehouse dead ahead, uh, which could have weapons in it. Also this barn and the other like sort of stable uh, horse barn to the right of it. So we're going to go check out these three buildings real quick see what kind of initial loot we can get, and then we'll decide, based on that, whether we want to head to Churn or Electro. Assuming, again, of course, that we're not killed immediately by another player, because the way my luck's been running lately, that's entirely possible that that could happen, like, right now. Alright, so, we're getting to the point now where we're close enough to these Zeds that we have a chance of aggroing them, so I'm going to crouch. And I'm going to start, you know, walking a little bit as opposed to running around like a crazy person. Uh, one nice thing is, uh, in the current state of the game, the crouch run is back to being pretty much as effective as it used to be. So I could kind of crouch run here. Uh, even though these guys are pretty close to me, you see they're not going to ag uh, because I have crouched. It's 
sprinting as opposed to standing up and sprinting. And now that I'm in the barn, I'll stand and just walk these stairs. So we got nothing here. Nothing here. Always remember to check behind the hay bales, because sometimes you'll get a loot spawn over in this corner, and a lot of times you forget to look for it there. But I have gotten some ammo clips and things uh, occasionally in that back corner. Woodpile. Zombies freaking out outside. I should probably turn the music down, because I really don't even pay any attention to it anymore. It's one of those things where when I first started playing the game, it used to freak me out all the time, because it always triggers at really inopportune moments, which I'm sure are by design to put you off guard and freak you out. Uh, but honestly, I've heard it so much now, playing the game as much as I have been, that it really doesn't even phase me anymore. It's like, oh, the creepy music playing, whatever. So you see here we've got some Zeds crawling through the barn that aren't actually agged on me. They're just kind of freaking out. Oh, hello there, Zed, crawling up the stairs for no apparent reason. That's pretty sweet. Never seen that before. Jerry can. Alright, so this barn is kind of a bust, uh, which is a bit disappointing. Usually these are good for at least one hatchet. I've seen a lot of these barns with, say, like, three or four hatchets in them. But, uh, I'm kind of curious as to whether or not the Zed is going to come over to this other stair. Sure, it looks like he is. I wonder if that's just part of his movement pattern, or if he actually... He doesn't see me, because if he saw me, I think he'd be standing. See, he's, he's running around there on his own. Not really aware of me being... It's definitely interesting. It's kind of a new behavior, I think. It's almost as if they are like the ghosts from Pac-Man now, and they have this, these little uh, patterns that they follow. Grab this whiskey bottle and this can in case I need to throw something to distract the zombies. I know a lot of you may be lamenting the fact that I'm running in 720p and that my interface is kind of covering up the... Uh, sight and sound indicators and whatnot, but I have such a good sense now of what the, how much noise I'm making when I do various things that I really don't need to see those anymore, and I just find it more comfortable to have the interface at a higher resolution uh, that makes it just a little easier when I'm doing the inventory management. crawling thing. What's up, buddy? Oh, look at this. It's like Discount Crawler Warehouse. Heh, <laughs> warehouse. Anyway, I'm gonna kinda make my way over here with some speed. This doesn't take the whole half hour just to loot these three buildings. Alright, got some action here. Now we have a little bit of confidence in our ability to defend ourselves. Let's see how much ammo we actually picked up for this thing. So we got the double barrel. Oop. There's a player action there. Now I've been getting the I've been getting the hell shot out of me lately. Just on sight. So if I see this person, they're probably gonna get shot. Because I'm not gonna take a chance of them capping me first. And I know that's kind of a jerk thing to do, but honestly, of the past like eight or ten tunes I've rolled in this game, like almost all of them have been killed by another player, like unprovoked. So that's just the way it is, I'm sorry to say. Corner here, so that line of sight on all these 
entrances. Mad Zed's moving around outside, but that's no real indicator of anything. Of course, at this range, if he comes in the opposite side of the barn, I'm probably screwed. His shotgun's not never going to reach him from here. I'm kind of counting on him coming in through this door or this door because this is the direction I heard the shots from. Although chances are good that he will do exactly what I did, which is go check out that barn first. Uh, apologies to the ladies, by the way. I know there are ladies who play this game. I'm just using he in that generic sense. I understand. Like, this could very well be a lady that I'm about to put the bumps on. Or get the bumps put on by, as it may be. I find that in this game, a big deal is just being patient. Because if you're the one kind of sitting around waiting for the other person, and not moving around and kind of giving your location away, more often than not, you can kind of get the drop on somebody. Well, given that I don't want to just sit around here, be a little risky and pop myself out here and see if I can get eyes on anybody. Zeds. Lots of Zeds. I'm leaving out of this side of the warehouse because I figure if the player is here, they're probably on the other side. So this will provide me some degree of cover. And then once I get past this bush, uh, that'll cover my back for a moment while I kind of assess the situation here. And by no means am I a, a fantastic FPS player. I mean, I'm sure people are yelling at the screen right now going, what the hell are you doing? But I like to try to put at least a little bit of thought into what I'm doing uh, because my reflexes are not so great. And so I feel like if I try to employ a little bit of tactics into what I'm doing, I have a better chance at living and not just relying on the twitch to put somebody down. Double barrel seems to be a little quieter than it used to be. Uh, it doesn't seem to ag zombies as much as it used to. From a distance. It used to be if you fired that thing off, like everything here would be thrown all over you instantly. Gotcha. So given that uh, given that I heard gunfire in the direction of Electro, now granted they've almost certainly moved since I heard them, 
and given that I'm now on the churn side of this uh, structure, I think I'm just going to stick with that and move away from here rather quickly. Check my six real quick. Don't see anybody that doesn't mean anything. And just try to get the heck away from here. Or at least out of uh, easy shooting range. Anyway, um, yeah, probably stand up now and just kind of book it for a bit. You know, this is one of those situations where if that person has spotted me, they very well may be following me at this point. So, I'm gonna kind of try to... What's up, zombie? Now, of course, the downside to me shooting that guy is that totally gives away the fact that I'm in here to anyone who is around, but whatever. <laughs> Honestly, the double barrel is probably my least favorite weapon in the game, so even though I've managed to find a weapon, I'm not particularly excited about the spawn yet, so still playing a little bit recklessly. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like when you try to crouch walking through this door, how it just turns into a fiasco. <laughs> you know, if you haven't uh, learned this about Arma 2 yet, you know, when you're going through a door, any go any door that's about the width of your character, you really want to stand up to do that, or the chances of you getting hooked on the scenery, otherwise screwed up, are pretty high. There's a tendency to want to crouch. Oh, hello, buddy. Let's see if this can up there. I always forget that this shoddy only has uh, two rounds. Just to reiterate, uh, my weapon situation is not super great. Uh, I have just a few shells on. Now this is weird. Normally this depot screen is not here. It's almost like it's further down than it usually is. I wonder if my resolution somehow got changed and I just didn't notice it. Anyway, easy enough to move that over. But as you can see, I'm now down to my last two shells, well actually my last shell on this gun, so I need to keep that in mind as I move around here. You know what, I'm going to turn this music down because it's just ridiculous. Cannot fire. There we go. Sorry about that, folks. I <laughs> never really noticed it being that loud before. <laughs> oh, I know what the problem is. And actually, this is something that just happened to me today, and I didn't even realize it. It's that um, I had to make a new profile. For some reason, the profile that I have been playing on since I started playing this, uh, whenever I would try to join servers, it would tell me that I had an invalid uh, player name but then when I went to try to go into the profile and edit my name, it wouldn't let me change it, so I had to make a new one. So that's why this is all screwed up. It's uh, giving me default resolution and default uh, settings and whatnot. All right, now mystery solved. We can proceed to run around and probably get killed. Buildings are proving somewhat disappointing in their loot content, I'm not gonna lie. Here. 
It's really interesting the way the zombie aggro works now. I mean, you can roll right up behind these dudes like this, but because they're not facing me, there's no chance at all that they're going to detect me crouched like this. Which is very cool, in a sense, but it's definitely different than, say, prior versions of the game where their detection was more based on your proximity to them as opposed to their line of sight. But I've noticed um, there's some glitching with the line of sight stuff where, like, see, this guy spotted me from, like, clear out in that field, right? Like, a mile away, basically. <laughs> Oops. Now those other two definitely heard that. Oh, and there goes the player. There's the player who was following me, and I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Like I said, I wasn't playing very smartly there, so I'm not at all surprised that I ate it. But uh, maybe that's a good place to stop for this test and see how this goes. Um, maybe I'll break this into pieces. I'm not sure how this is going to work for my YouTube account because I typically don't post a lot of videos, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go above 10 minutes. I know the last time I was doing any serious posting on YouTube, there was a 10 minute limit on files for uh, people who don't post a lot. So uh, that's all I got really. We'll see how this goes and maybe I'll do some more later if you guys are into it. Peace.